Unusual ministerial mantle rests upon Sam Karanchi Ankara, apostle, prophet, pacifist, philanthropist, entrepreneur, educationalist, author, and motivational speaker. In 1991, in the Netherlands, a fierce divine encounter at dawn took Sam Karanchi Ankara, along with 12 others, back to Ghana to initiate the International Bible Worship Center, now known as Royal House Chapel Churches and Ministries Worldwide. With currently almost 10,000 devoted people in total weekly attendance, this multifaceted, multiracial, non-denominational ministry organization is comprised of a network of missions and initiatives in Africa, Europe, and the United States. Reverend Sam has significantly impacted the lives of street children, homeless, addicts, prostitutes, single parents, widows, and the aged with philanthropic initiatives including Outreach for Comfort, Rescue the Needy, Ministry to the Aged, Hospital and Prisons Outreaches, and Scholarship Schemes for Needy Students. He imparts a life-changing relevant word from God that confronts physical, spiritual, and socioeconomic challenges and has resulted in saved souls and miracle deliverances. With a notable tally of corporate, societal, and civil achievements. He is doing something unique, nurturing the talents of church people, raising them as entrepreneurs so they can help the needy. Reminds me of the Acts of the Apostles, and here's an apostle doing the Acts of the 21st century. Robert Nelson, multi-millionaire Australian entrepreneur, philanthropist at Convention of Saints 2002. It's only Reverend Ankara who says the things he says, the way he says, and does the things he does, the way he does. I said to the president the other day, let Ankara handle it. And he did an excellent job. We are proud of him. Archbishop Dr. N. Duncan Williams, Commanding Bishop of Christian Action Faith Ministries at Convention of Saints 2002. I watch your pastor always on TV. His sermons, the beautiful spiritual atmosphere. You don't know what it does to me. It's my source of strength. H.E. Dr. Jerry John Rawlings, former president, the Republic of Ghana at Convention of Saints 2002. Reverend Sam is frequently mentioned by news agencies, the internet, television and radio networks, and the print media as a pacifist, pioneering conflict resolution talks between traditionalists and the church in Ghana, aiding and facilitating meetings between highest-ranking political figures in government and in opposition. Additionally, he is also the CEO of Powerline Media Ministries, a nonprofit production and management organization which organizes multimedia outreach programs like The Power in His Presence TV show and the Powerline Radio Show. These reach millions of viewers and listeners across the world in their homes and on the Internet, touching our generation with the power of God. Furthermore, Apostle Sam Karinchi Ankara mentors an extensive network of ministers through his organization, the Covenant Ministers Fellowship Incorporated. He oversees several ministries, schools and colleges, and chairs and partners with corporate outfits in Africa, Europe, and the USA. He is also an executive member of various high-powered religious councils and associations, and keeps an immense schedule of speaking engagements around the world. Reverend Sam lives in Accra with his wife Rita and their four children.